Hi everybody and welcome back to another video about figure photography. I've got a scene set up here in the Cult Creations Ellie diorama. I have used that diorama for my photos a lot recently since I got it because, well, I keep seeing and getting new ideas, new scenes and, well, for this particular one we have a scene from the Spider-Man movie where Spider-Man wears his black suit and we've got the new Goblin as well. So let's take a look at some of the ideas I had for this shot. So first step in a photography scene like this one, for me at least, is to find out what kind of light I want to use. So first here I have some background light shining through the window in the door and I've also got a colored LED light down here on the ground and I've got some ordinary white light shining on the figures as well. So I think it gives me the kind of light I want for this scene. Next up I have to create the scene using the figures and the most complicated part here is Spider-Man. I want it to look like he's just landed on this box here surprising the goblin in the alley and obviously it's not possible to balance him here so I have used a support stand uh, mostly hidden behind the trash here but I have to deal with it after the photo or maybe make it as the not visible as possible when I take the shot. The goblin is not that difficult to balance. He has an ordinary pose here. I try to like make him look like he's turning around, maybe looking a bit surprised, reacting to the sudden appearance of Spider-Man. So I have tweaked the figures a little more now and next up I'm going to try to find out which angle is the right one to take the shot. So taking it from over here I might focus a bit more on the expression of the new goblin but still Spider-Man will be closest to the camera. But I could also, could also turn the camera over here, um, trying to make it more clear that Spider-Man is coming in from behind and the Goblin is surprised. Well, and then I could move down. I don't know what effect that would have. And of course I could also take the picture here make it look more like I'm looking from above down in an alleyway and this is where the scene is. So I'll get my camera and I'll try to find out which sh uh, shot works the best. Because I'm indoor and I haven't used a lot of light in this particular shot, I think these are the camera settings that I will start with and see what I can get. So first I'm moving a bit down and trying to capture the two characters from over here. Yeah. And this would be how it looks. I'm going to try to take a shot from the other angle. Yeah. And that would look something like this. So I'm going to capture a few more shots and then I'm going to edit the shots and see how it turns out. And for one more shot in a completely different setting, I'm going to take my death dealer figure here outside. And as usual, before I do that, I have a basic pose. He is going to walk through some kind of wilderness, <laughs> which in this case is my garden. And um, well, we'll see what happens when we get outside. It's uh, cold and it's, yeah, it's not a very good weather. So I'm going to make this quick. So here we are out in the wilderness, trying to look at the figure here. And I'm going to grab a few quick shots, maybe with a little wind in his cape. Yeah, maybe from a few different angles. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Mm. 
yeah. And I'm back inside now with Death Dealer on his right spot here on the top shelf. Death Dealer is a beast of a figure. If you haven't done so already, check out my review. It's an amazing piece. But, well, now I'm going to take a look at the shots, I'm going to edit them and we'll see how they turn out. Thanks a lot for watching this video, leave a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more.